Yeah, hello guys, welcome to Rainer Tech. It's your boy here, or your guy here. So today we are going to do the unboxing of this Alienware M15R7. Yeah, enjoy the video. So, unboxed. Not yet unboxed inside the box. But now this is the M15R7. M15. And then as you can see here, it's Intel. And then these are the specs 15 inch command center uh, Dolby Atmos. We have Intel Killer Cryotech RGB. And then, yes, that is it. So, and has a handle if you want to, to work with it around town and yes, and show off. So, here we have the charger. So it was closed so this one was inside here don't know what is that for so this is the charger so this is the laptop as you can see m15 and 7 very small but very new ah, smells good so this is it so the standard here is for japanese standard the head because i bought it from dell japan and very big to 40 watt power adapter 140 watts i thought that the other one was just cash grab for the small one i cannot buy a laptop this costly and then you tell me to pay extra money for a small adapter but i'm okay with it because the other one is still big so now this is the laptop so i want to remove it here and then now i power it up so we are loading, 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 loading. I just put everything, my password. So just a moment and uh, boom. So after unboxing, powering it up and installing Windows afresh. So I'll show you how to install Windows afresh on this because uh, the laptop came with Windows 11 pre-installed, but it had a lot of bloatware, a lot of things that I don't like. So for me, when I buy a new laptop, I usually wipe everything clean and fresh install. So the main reason why I bought this laptop is because it's smaller than my previous one, of which I'll compare the sizes. So, but for now, this is the Alienware logo. As you can see, it's lighting. So like this, it's not charged when you plug in the charger. It changes the color when it's full it changes the color so now it's uh, blue lit but there's a lot of light so we have two usb cables i did not go for the x series because x series is expensive and all the cables are at the back but for this i have two usb here i don't know uh, you can check which usb is but it's very fast i have ethernet ethernet cable here this is it the ethernet cable like that so yeah and yeah so i have supports because of the vents we have vents below so i have i have not yet bought a, a laptop pad but it's on the way so i have not yet bought it so i want to close this or we come to the back so we come to the back we have the alienware logo there also this one lights up this this lights up and you can switch it off using the alienware command center so here we have ports we have thunderbolt we have i think this one is also usb so if you don't want your connections from here or anything you can put here the back sometimes i put put here the back we have hdmi we have power cable here so the power adapter lights blue like this so so many lights so and it's 240 watts it's 240 watts so yeah so i have two power bricks here my previous one was 230 from hp i have this laptop is a legend i have stayed with it for five years and still is so this one i'm going to stay with it maybe for the next seven or ten years because it has very very nice specs so now we go to the specs system specs right click here come to the task manager now i bought this because of the processor 
processor is Core i7 12th gen, so it has 14 cores, so six efficiency, eight efficiency, and six performance cores and 20 logical processors. So the other reason why I bought it is the 32 GB memory. So two out of two because of speed. Don't buy one unless if you want one slot for that 2 GB, you must make sure that it's 64 GB. So two out of two for it's DDR5, so 4800 megahertz. So this is why I bought it. The other reason why I bought this laptop is because of this graphics card that is 70 Ti. And then as you can see, we have 150 watts of maximum graphics power. And this is why the power adapter has 240 watts. So these are the specs and I believe that it will be smashing some games and the next thing that maybe we can check the next thing that we can check is the this computer management disk management so there is something that i saw and i think it's appropriate to show you so here we have right you right click here and then come to policies make sure this is enabled even when you install new drive gen 4 so that you get the maximum speed so for only for samsung this time to unlock the maximum speed you don't need to install any driver just come here and enable right caching on device and that is it so now the next thing is to show you how i managed to do my installation when the driver was not being detected so you have to come here so you come here to dell.com and then you click this once you click this link it will take you to this the same same link so my computer is here so this computer is this one so you can just click it will detect your service tag so and now if it cannot detect your service tag please just download the dell assistant it can read that so translate to english and then once you translate to english i don't know why it's not translating to english i cannot I cannot so this my body license so it cannot it has refused to detect so but there is no problem so now what you need to do is to come to drivers and downloads and then after that search for drivers manually so you don't need to come and search here so just come show all and then come to come and check there is one that is for 18 MB this is what we want not this one this for for 11 mb will not work so we want this one so download click download once you download it so i've already downloaded mine so just come here open folder so this is for the 10 mb it's not okay so this is my installation drive this is where my windows is and we want to extract files these files so I want to delete them so that we see what happens so double click like that and then instead of installing click extract navigate to the folder that you want so you can always click here and make new folder so this folder was not there I created it and then you say okay so now when we come to this folder we have these ones so we say close so it had not yet finished so we have a new production so this is what now we will come and use to detect the drives when you want to install a fresh windows afresh so you have to navigate to up to this folder otherwise you will not be able to detect any drives when you're installing doing a fresh install of windows so now let us go now to the fresh installation of windows now we want to do the to try the fresh installation so you come here restart now for Dell you click F12 restart anyway F12 so that it takes you to the boot as you can see the screen is matte or matte black so and I believe you had in on the screen recording so it's the fan noise 
so the fan can be really 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 noisy it can be really noisy so i click this so that it takes me to yes now i'm okay so you come here So not Windows 11 cannot be installed in MBR partition scheme, so you have to install it in GPT. It's not okay to install it, but you can, I think you can bypass it. So that is my old laptop, so we are going to compare the sizes. So here, say next, install now. So there is something I want you to see. I don't know if it will, not it will, to detect because I've already installed but if not I will guide you on what to do so next custom as you can see it cannot detect my drivers as you can see so click load driver browse then come to the folder that you created like that production you have to navigate if you click this it will not detect so you have to browse like that come to raid production windows like that drivers vmd this one and now you select this one let's say it's this one so we say okay and then we see what happens now we can see all the partitions and now we can install so yeah that is it yeah i also know maybe some people might ask why do you buy an alienware why not lenovo because here in japan dell is the only company which was willing to give or someone to customize for english otherwise the default ones are in japanese all the other companies which are selling so my keyboard is in english and like this other one which is in japanese it has given me so many problems that's why I preferred an English version up to the OS. Everything is in English. Yes. So Dell Japan, that was an awesome work. So now this is the size comparison. So as you can see, I like that setting. So nice. So as you can see, this is way smaller in comparison to this one. But this is also another beast. It's 100 watt power voltage but it's gtx 1070 and now this one is rtx so ray tracing is available so it's also the same resolution scale 191080 p that is it so this marks the end of this video so yeah so we can start like that yes like that so this marks the end of this video so if there is something that you want me to do for you please consider asking yeah and yeah please subscribe to the channel so that you can support us yeah thank you